students, staff, and families, I would like to start this evening by acknowledging that this event is taking place on the ancestral lands and traditional territories of the Puget Sound Coast Salish peoples. Peoples that are still here continuing to honor and bring light and energy to their connection to the land, waters, and culture. We would like to show our respect and acknowledge that the Puget Sound Coast Salish peoples, past and present, whose lands we gather today. Please be seated. Welcome high school class of 2023 to your graduation. Thank you to the all, thank you. Thank you to all of the families that are here. Your support throughout the years has not gone unnoticed. To all the teachers who have dealt with us every day that we showed up to class, and to all the students who, despite some extenuating circumstances, are here to celebrate our accomplishments. My name is Cassidy Silvis, and I am your ASP president. I spent a lot of time in front of this crowd, from freshman elections to our final pep assembly, and now I am honored to be leading you through our graduation ceremony alongside your Vice President, Asher Seibel. Thank you. <laughs> to officially start the ceremony, I have the honor of introducing Ballard High School's principal, Abby Hunt. Thank you. All right, dear families, graduates, faculty, and honored guests, tonight we come together for an incredibly special occasion, one that is made all the more significant given all that has occurred over the past four years. To each and every single member of the class of 2023, I am so proud of you for all that you have done to be here today. As I reach my own milestone of completing my first year as principal at Ballard High School, I've observed that Ballard is like no other high school and the love that people have for this community. This is a love that I share with you. And from this community, we are fortunate to have students and faculty who will be sharing their thoughts with us tonight. So I will keep my words brief. I just wanna open our ceremony tonight with a sense of gratitude for the fact that we are able to be here together tonight. And I wanna call to mind those whom we love who might not be able to be here with us. This journey is not one we make alone. So to everyone, especially families and educators, I wanna say thank you. Thank you for loving these amazing students and supporting them on their journey. Class of 2023, hold your heads up high, keep your hearts open, and never stop learning. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Hunt. Good evening, Ballard graduates. I am Asher Seibel, your ASB Vice President and it is an absolute honor to stand before you today. <laughs> to lead, <laughs> it is a privilege to lead the ceremony with all of our amazing staff and the extraordinary ASB president, Cassidy Silvis. Now, without any further ado, it's a privilege to introduce a man filled with talent. Please stand or respectfully observe our national anthem performed by the Hayden Richardson.
introduce our first set of student speakers. These three students together represent band, robotics, Earth Service Corps, and the Talisman. Our next speakers are seniors, Sadie Clark, Jane McKelvey, and Annie Wellman. Congratulations on your last four years. Don't worry, we're not doing the whole speech that way. In speech brainstorming, the three of us asked around for what our peers perceived to be universal senior experiences. The first commonality was a shared emotional attachment to spirit weeks. Parents, you may not know this, but after every spirit week, a class wins after a count of beaver bucks. Awarded for dressing up in our silly outfits, and a series of ridiculous competitions that we all cheer our hearts out screaming for. Here's the secret. The competition is rigged. Up until this past spring, the senior class won every single pep assembly. As a junior, it was humiliating, but as a senior, it was one true comfort, a solid truth that couldn't be altered. So when we lost our spring pep assembly, there was an uproar. As it turns out, our class-wide beaver buck laundering had been so outrageous that it rigged our already rigged election against us. Even if we didn't win, man, we were committed. Our class competition may seem trivial, but it reminded me of the unity that the class has achieved. Despite the profound disconnect created by the pandemic that shall not be named, we've managed to grow together into a real tangible community. Whether it's saying hi in the halls, cheering for the weirdest relay we've ever seen, passing out pink spirit gear, or printing an abominable amount of fake money. This class is together until the end. And one way our class was united was our shared feeling of future-induced doom. We didn't talk to all seniors, of course, but we heard a lot about people's fears. Examples including, and I quote, the existential fear of not being anything after high school, the impending doom of the future, and the fear of isolation and missing people. As seniors, we're about to leave behind the lives we've created for ourselves up until now, which is terrifying. Our friends are moving away, many of us are moving away, and we're bound for new schools and new jobs that there's truly no way of knowing if we'll like. In terms of missing each other, there's not a lot to say that can mitigate that. But we can take solace in knowing that we've made friendships that are meaningful enough to be scared to lose them. And we're all in this position. We are all scared of moving on, and we will all hold on to the friendships that we've come to value so much. In terms of the rest of our futures, we have to take a leap of faith. The unknowns of our futures are terrifying, but they hold so much hope and flexibility. We're no longer legally required to go to school for seven hours a day. We <laughs> have the freedom to specialize ourselves into the people we want to be, uncontained by the homogeneity of high school. We have access to anything we can think of and so much more that we can't yet even comprehend. Now that we've gotten all of the shared doom out of the way, there were some shared experiences seniors described that didn't feel so gloomy. Every year as March comes around, we all share in the universal experience of walking under pink blossoms on the way to our first period classes. 
Though seniors didn't mention the cherry trees quite as frequently as their awful experiences in the bathrooms with sprained toilets and endless lines, the cherry blossoms often came up as an aspect of Ballard that we could all relate to. These trees have accompanied us through the long stretches before spring break and fourth quarter. They remind us that if we're willing to lean into the sentimentality of it all, spring and new changes are right around the corner. Now, Sadie and Jane told me that I had to take this section of the speech because I couldn't be pessimistic even if I tried. And now is surely not the time to try. So instead, I'll lean just a little into the sappiness that most graduation speeches eventually end on. High school doesn't have to be the best four years of your life. In fact, that might make me a little worried about your future quality of life if these were your absolute best years. <laughs> but when you look back on shared experiences, don't just remember the crowded school bathrooms and your fears about the future. Remember your friends, your teachers, your parents, the people who have brought you towards graduation and made these last four years possible. Remember, as Ms. Cattrall describes it, the unimaginability of what it takes to get a kid to age 18 intact. Let yourself think of the cherry trees too.
Testing, testing. All right. Thank you. That was the Ballard Wind Ensemble, directed by Jay Gillespie, performing Crescent Moon by Akito Matsuda. The next speaker we have today was cho chosen by the senior class student body. She was voted as the teacher that best encapsulates our senior class spirit. This teacher is the one, the only, Christina Cottrell. With her speech, maybe don't change the world. <laughs> This is terrifying. <sighs> All right. Um, hi. And thank you for this honor. It's really lovely. Change the world. Perhaps one of the more absurd phrases in the English language, considering you quite literally change the world the minute you're born. Figuratively, what most of us mean when we say we want to change the world is that we want to be famous. And I cannot think of a worse goal. I know I'm supposed to be inspiring you right now, but I'm not about to go off brand just for your graduation. I'm not here to sanitize the future for you or fill you full of shiny glitter. <laughs> I've taught over two thirds of the students in this audience, I actually counted. Uh, and for the other third, I likely administered your AP test or you hung out in my room with your friends. I also ended up writing over 50 letters of recommendation this year, which I think is some kind of record. I'm not sure. Uh, it was a lot. <laughs> but I met most of you, I met most of you online during your sophomore year, where you were a sea of black squares, a list of names. I knew none of your trauma apart from your chosen silence. You, however, regularly witnessed me basically talking to myself, uh, crying, making loaves of bread, like everyone, or attempting to parent my young sons. Or did you see anything at all? I'll never know. <laughs> if student gossip is to be believed, all sorts of crazy things happened online, so I guess my tears are pretty tame in comparison. But trauma bonds people together. It's one of the best things about it. Only good things. As a class, you're more connected than most, more like family than most, in good ways and in bad ways. Many of you are like old married couples in a classroom, bickering over what someone said last period or the party next weekend. It also bonded me to many of you, some of whom I've had the distinct privilege of teaching for three years straight, a rarity for an English teacher. And wow, have I gotten to know you. There was something about our shared trauma that meant I became part mother, part older sister, part friend to a fair number of the students in this audience. I know the stories behind many broken hearts, your migraines, your menstrual pain, which necessitated cups of tea. I know your secret political affiliations, the parent you struggle to get along with, your favorite singers, your preferred classroom snack, and your drink order at Top Banana. You've borrowed my hand lotion, you've eaten my chocolate, one of you even left a hairball on my desk. And last year, like I can't make this stuff up, a few of you managed to get a traffic cone into my car. Still wondering about that one. Being a teacher is a really weird job. Few adults would agree to do work where the pay is not at all commensurate with their skill level or effort. And most teenagers see teachers as a necessary but boring barrier that they need to hurdle on their way to the real world. I would hazard a guess that the idea of becoming a teacher at Ballard High fills you with a palpable fear that you would be a failure somehow, that you didn't change the world. And I can see that I live a pretty ordinary life. I have enough money though. I travel, I have a lovely family. Hi, George and Noah. Um, and most of the time, I genuinely love my work. I still hope to publish my writing, but even if I never actually publish a book of poems or the next best-selling novel, I refuse to see this as a failure because every day I spent with you bemoaning the state of the school bathrooms or sharing Phoebe Bridger songs or watching you fall asleep during your AP test or dissecting your essays or honestly watching a senior boy trying to squeeze his giant body under a school desk during a live shooter drill. 
Even those moments count in my grand total of happiness, the absurdity of it all, the idea that those cheap plastic desks would do any good in the earnest way in which we rehearsed this possibility. And I lost my page there. As you leave the relative safety of high school and a community that knows you so well, consider trusting your peers, the ones hiding under the desk with you. If their decisions don't harm you in any way, trust them to make their own choices. My highly intelligent trans and non-binary students can be trusted to make their own choices. This need to control each other, this lack of respect for a person's choices, for human autonomy, is at the heart of the divisions we see in our high school and in our state and in our nation. Why, considering that each of us is here just once on this fragile, relatively small planet? I have to quote Shakespeare, just to annoy you. Uh, and because you likely didn't memorize this line from Hamlet, we are but worms. We fat all creatures else to fat us and we fat ourselves for maggots. This dead white dude also went through a pandemic and felt his mortality, which spurred him onto some arguably great things. So can we drop the elaborate charade that we are separate from each other, better than each other? Alexander the Great's rotted skull stank, and so will yours. I have faith in you though. Maybe it's because you felt a crushing uncertainty about your future from an early age. Being told that a virus might kill you at age 14 is gonna have consequences. But it also gave you a reason to live with authenticity. As a group, you are less willing to follow rules you don't agree with or do something just because someone older than you told you to. This made you really hard to teach, but it will likely lead to a less complacent society, and I am all for that. Right? <laughs> Which leads me back to my main idea. Don't try to change the world, but please try to change your world, the ordinary one that you're in right now, not the future world your phone appears to promise. The world right now is a people sitting right next to you, and your ability to work with them is a greater indicator of your happiness than any nebulous success shimmering on some unknown horizon. Dreaming big isn't a bad thing, of course, nor is achieving something big. I'm certain that some of you will become famous, but I hope it isn't what drives you. Class of 2023, you don't need to be any bigger or better than you already are. Ordinary life can be pretty damn great. For the past four years, you've pushed the boulder of high school up the proverbial mountain. Tonight, I hope you can enjoy watching the rock roll back down the mountainside. Another, perhaps shinier rock will be there again tomorrow, but that's life. May you find joy in the struggle and peace in the in-between times together. Thank you. Cottrell. I would now like to introduce the concert choir and advanced chorale, directed by Miss Courtney Rowley, who will perform True Colors by Billy Steinberg and Tom Kelly, arranged by Matthew Brown.
you, choir. The next performance today will be by the Polynesian Student Alliance president, performing the climb, Casa Isabella Finau Atu. Thank you, Casa Isabella Final Atu. That was truly outstanding. Now, our final speaker of the night, co-president of Ballard's Black Student Union, varsity basketball player, I welcome Shea Deskins with her speech, We the 23. Hello everyone, hello families, and thank you all for being here. To my peers, classmates, and friends, whether we've known each other since middle school or even elementary, if we've only passed each other in the hallways, some bonds are forever. The point is, we all have created memories over the years, and I want you to pay attention to the pattern of comforting feelings of closeness that we've all experienced throughout this year. 
And I want you to think back to March of our freshman year that was cut short and our sophomore year completely vanished due to poor environmental factors that set us back a few steps. We are one of the last groups that dealt with enforced isolation due to a virus that also led to the want for more human connection. A lot of things were out of our control, but when we were lifted from lockdown, the emergence of junior year was only a kickstart to the everlasting fun making we've made this year as seniors. This is not the end of the road. Think of it as an open door with a welcome mat. We're never gonna get experiences like this again with one another. Recognize that self-growth, self-love, and joining forces is what it takes to prove ourselves in the world that we live in today. Our high school career has given us an opportunity to learn and adapt a bit. However, the growth process only increases from here, and it's up to us to raise the bar. It's important for us not to become stunted in our own growth based on distractions, or to carry crutches in our own minds when moving on to the next stage. And I'd like, you, I'd like to leave you with a message from the great Nipsey Hussle that says, be your own biggest fan, your own biggest believer, and put it on your back and carry the weight. Meaning, while we've grown with each other, this new chapter will help us grow deeper into revealing our true selves and the persons that we're destined to be. And you must believe in yourself in the process. This time of self-discovery and the people, places, and things we experience around us will help us level up to higher heights. A time for us to put work into ourselves, releasing all self-judgment, fear, and worry about what's to come for our future so that we can take in every experience entirely. Remember you all, never stop learning, and commend yourselves for all the work that you've put in over time to get yourselves to where you're at right now. As we rise, families, and give applause, be sure that you don't forget that learning is infinite as your future plans are met. And not everyone will understand your journey, and that's fine. It's not theirs to know. It's not theirs to make sense of. It's yours. It's ours. So follow your passion and be confident while doing it. It will only lead you to your true purpose in life, whether looking back, you've accomplished it, or looking forward to all that's yet to be. I am wishing you all the best in this new chapter of our lives. I love you all, and congratulations to the class of 2023, baby! Thank you, Shea. As we approach the end of this graduation ceremony, I invite you to reminisce, to close your eyes and picture your first days at Ballard High School. The size of our huge building and the timid uncertainty of entering a foreign school. Now I ask you to contrast those feelings with our senior year Beaver Week. The confidence and joy when we shout at pep assemblies, present a class final, or even get lunch with friends. We all entered the unknown, but we now graduate in victory, surrounded by our community of peers. I am forever grateful for the friends, memories, and hardships that shaped our high school years. Today is a celebration. Despite all of the uncertainty ahead, cheer and celebration of the future. Forever Beavers, congratulations, class of 2023. <laughs> Assisting in the presentation of diplomas, I invite Mr. Fiza and Mr. Schmidt. Seattle School Board Director Song Moritz, as principal of Ballard High School, I formally present and recommend for graduation the students of the graduating class of 2023 from Ballard High School. 
These students have met all the graduation requirements and are deserving of all the honors, rights, and privileges pertain thereto. Do you accept? Thank you, Principal Hunt. By the authority vested on me as school board director of Seattle Public Schools, I recognize and accept the 2023 graduates of Ballard High School, and I approve the granting of their diplomas. Congratulations. Ready? Cassidy Nicole Silvis. Asher Lane Seibel. Marguerite Ann Garrick. Charlie Ephraimson. Emma Elizabeth Steinberg. Connor Chapman. Aiden Nicole Hastings. Max Joseph Finkelstein. Lola Ariana Fodi. Leah Marie Robinson. Sadie Donnell Clark. Beck R. Peterson. You're not Jane. Jane Violet McKelvey. Hayden Turner Richardson. Annie McNeil Wellman. Shea Deskins. Casa Isabella Finau Atu. Winter Abler. Josephine Bell Adamson. Q Adamson. Want the roll the R? Roll the R. Stuti Adhikari. Lucy Elizabeth Ahrens. Yalta Bach Thompson. Samuel Beck Earhart. Mina Ali Abadi. Benjamin Zaev Anafi. And Gabriel John Amend. Eli Ocklander Anderson. Lulu Elizabeth Anderson. Lucas William Anderson. Hadley Opal Anderson Vanderford. Tucker Anderson Sanford. Natalie Yuki Anderson. Anna Grace Ashman. Sophia Simone Angel. Ava James Babcock. Autumn Bailey. Wilson Reed Bailey. Lena Bailey. Coleman Theron Barnes. Fiona Aaron Josephine Barnes. Rosa Manini Bashi. Bloom? Hannah Bloom Baldwin. Jake Beckerman. Donald Robert Beadle. Julia Bellabara. Isabel Sandy Berglund. Anika Sabine Benigson. Lauren Renee Bianchi. Aiden Robert Bernard. Eva Jin Buffon. Hugo Russell Bianowski. Sophia Bondrada. Henry Bryant Blue. Stephen Enrique Booker Withers. Jonathan Luke Borum Colas. 
Alexandra Lee Borsi. John David Borlier. Benjamin Carl Braverman. Clem David Bovet. Quinton Thomas Brewster. Rowan Cooper Brownell. Nicholas Burchug. Willa Josephine Bookinga. Charlotte Miles Bryan. Natalie Kathleen Bremer. Samantha Mackenzie Buffer. Alexander C. Benson. Oliver August Burns. John Butler. Hank Robert Buttleman. Michelle Angel de Villa Cabrera. Kira Campbell. Phoebe Rose Carlson. Patrick Allen Canfield Bud. Dylan Nicholas Carney. Cade Carpenter. Simona Raffaella Carnavali. Fiona Isabel Carroll. Navita Dahl Carroll. Kalehua Kale Queso. Tobin Samuel Cavanaugh. Griffin E. Chen. Alexi Deteva Cirillo. Onyx Daphne Chain. Kyle Techy Chu. Leo Dijou Clark. Christian McLeod Christensen. Jocelyn Marie Cockrum. Christopher Allen Coates. Eli Cohen Hadas. Yanai Eli Cohen Hadas. Charles Rist Kaufman. Benjamin Daniel Cordick. Sam Samuel Walter Cox. Thomas Cousins. Annabelle Elise Conrad. Clementine Eve Curtis. John Daniel Dalrymple Cochlin. Taylor Christine Dalton. Scarlett Claire Davis. Hayden Jade Sikovic. Mattia Decheco. Jared Wesley Darrington. Hudson Merrick De Leon. Roan Del Bianco. Colin Christop Day. Manuel Alejandro Diaz Reyes. Avery Ryan Dotson. Rachel Elizabeth Dunnigan. Monse Eckert Mariscal. Jack Paul Eckert. Ella Jane Eckert. Andre C. Edgerly. Sophia Elizabeth Eckert. Otis English. Caroline Ephraimson. Odalis Alei Estevez. Finn Torsten Erickson. Thomas J. Fadi. <laughs> Amelia Joy Faust. Logan Shippard Evans. Josephine Meredith Fitzpatrick. Michael Jacob Fava. <laughs> Maria Sue Fon Viel. Grace Browning Fields. 
Kelly Ruth Folk. <laughs> Lena Alexandra Filimonov. <laughs> Thea Franz Knight. <laughs> Rocco Brandon Fort. <laughs> Colin Michael Fuller. <laughs> Piper Lynn Freemuth Brader. Connor Greg Fergulus. Nicholas Warren Folks. <laughs> Tumulan Galsal. Eden Isabella Gabbert. <laughs> Benjamin Garcia Cruz. Giovanni Garcia Cruz. Hey. Roman Garms. Mia May, Mia May Gardner. Benjamin Gerardi. Charlotte Isabel Gaylord. Sierra Rose Gerstarf Duncan. Ethan Anthony Getty. John Henry Gibson. Maxima Borja Glassman. Sydney Marie Goldsmith. Grant Dawson Gerald. Danny Lowe Orion Golden. Maxwell Chase Goldstein. James Forrester Goodell. Alexander David Good. Quinn Garrett Grove. Iris Estelle Melville Gortney. Andrew Evan Guthrie. Laura Grandy. Magnolia Susan Hall. Louis Michael Hager. Silas Timothy Healy. Lauren Elizabeth Hangey. Olivia Lauren Hall. Sir DeConnie Latrell Haney. Finn Hansen. Coleman Cargyle Harris. Nevaeh Jade Harmon. Koji J. Haskins. Matea Rose Hart. <laughs> Heidi Steinge Harrington. Aiden James Hayes. <laughs> All right. Lennon Hayes. Hugo Jacob Heim Romero. Griffin Henninger. <laughs> Ruby Renee Hess. Jaden E. Hellman. Theodore Goodrich Huey. Griffin E. Hester. <laughs> Remy Alexa Hirschfield Rudy. Sienna Tara Hill. Jack E. Holden. Hudson Henry Hobbs. Lucy Elizabeth Holman. Nils Whitman Herline. Aiden David Horowitz. Jane Jillian Holt. Zoe Smalley Isip. Sophie Marie Hunsucker. Orion Iverson. Mia Endo Ishii. Catherine Judith James. Jake James Ivester. Charles Thomas Jensen. Jakubczyk. Elliot Marshall Jakubczyk. Jacob Michael Johnson. Olivia Fusai Jardine. 
Francisco Paco Frederick Jones. Malaya Ryan Johnson. Mitali Noel Lane. Malena Anna Kujolkin. Catherine Ting Carmen. Jesse Anthony Katz. Finn Thomas Keenan. Jenna Christine Price Keller. Emily Claire Kendall. Gabrielle Justin Kennison. Isabel Grace Kim. Julius Gabrielle King. Juliette, sorry. Juliette Suzanne Klein. Garrett Morgan Knight. Finlay Sebastian Cusick. Daphne Mary Nell Knox. Jackson Waveland Kutalik. Alita Diana Lacus. Kate Rose Lauterbach. Dianca Tameng Lamley. Camille Elizabeth Lavestead. Caden Noel Larson. Lucian Asher Alton Lazar Williams. Adriana Elizabeth Laufer. Arden Likas. Cody Christopher Lavin. James Samuel Liska. Yeshin Lee. Orlando William Luce. Ari Burke Lillibridge. Oliver F. Lyman. Maximilian Giovanni Lounsbury. Isabella Majoros. Hazel Celeste Leon Mendez. Griffin Marsh. Lee Mercantel. Evan James Mast. Griffin E. M. Martin. Anna Isabel Lilio Kalani Mayachar. Jaden DeAnthony Matas. Ike Mara McMillan. <laughs> Graham Sparin McCoslin. <laughs> Lena Min McRoberts. <laughs> Finley Nash McGahey. Simone Marie Matier. Benjamin David Mercer. Emmett Charles Meyer. Benjamin Frederick Meyer. It's you. Sonia Dylan Miller. Zella Annabelle Meyer. Lucia Lynn Montenegro. Casey Elizabeth Middleton. Sage Marie Moore. Noah Diego Montez. Catherine Newton Mullins. Aitana Moreno. Cole Stephen Morris. Eden Genevieve Murphy. Jonathan B. Nauman. Avery Jean Musser. Eli Stephen Nelson. Sabrina Marie Myers. Jacob Robert Nelson. Bella Autumn Nyreder. Stella Marie Nelson. Liam Oliver Nelson. 
Lauren Elizabeth Oboy. Nate Rowan Nicholson. Drew Daniel Olsby. Caroline Michelle No. Ruby Isadora Palazza. Isaac Reed Oliver. Milo Jack Palmer. Kauri Matilde Owens. Ella Sabine Papano. Elliot Rainier Palmer. Macy Alina Parson. Dylan Sebastian Park. Leonard Cyrus Paya. Milo J. Parson. Daniel Edwin Peterson. Alden Calder Payne. Holly Nicole Peterson. David Robert Payne. Ava Platt. Paige Star Pinion. Nicolo Giorgio Potesta. Elijah Post. Nicholas Aaron Prestegard. Jack Edward Prescott. August Hodgson Perky. Christian Xander Putz. Arden Charles Rathkoff. Kellen Thomas Queen. Luca Francisco Rios. Sophia Rahim Rajan. Rowan Joseph Wren. Helen Marie Richardson. Benny Antonio Romero. Saren Riley Rodriguez. James Drake Sander. Jack Michael Rousseau. Sit in the hall. Sienna Seiler. Mila Sater Miller. Charles Rupert Schmeising. Francesca Luciana Schmidt. Aria Raul Savecki. Marina Ray Sellers. James Timothy Servi. Let's go, James! Andrew Mark Survey. Yeah! Pearl Simpson. Severe. Max Randolph Severe. Yeah! Simon Philip Skenechny. Yeah! Jackson William Simmons. Emerson Catherine Smith. Ella Winona Singer. Leo Arthur Smith. Ashlyn Meredith Smith. Jessa Rue Sorensen. Charlie B. Solomon. Mila Teresa Sousa. Piper Claire Sorensen. Jordan Auburn Stanley. Jill Zoe Sousley. Yeah. Josephine Corley Stebbins. Cole Stephen Spencer. Yeah. Elliot Steiger. Robert Nathaniel Starnes. Ralph David Steinbrickner. Imogene Steele. Akira Stropel. Emmett Donovan Stevens. Cohen Carter Stewart. Liam Taylor Stoneison. Jack Milton Swartz. Lewis Babick Sussman. 
Joran Matthew Tate. Kenji Tablazon. Charles Hart Thatcher. Alexa Josephine Higgins Terry. Wyatt Tippett. Jaden Tim. Natasha Margareta Toll. Lillian Louise Toland. Oliver Tracy. Jay Khalil Townsland. Corey Lynn Unruh. Jason Andrew C. Carmela Christina Urutia. Got a card? Carl Akira Van Dorn. Helene Fukafela Aike Tua Halamaka. <laughs> Andy James Vehi. Hanako Van Dorn. Caden Elizabeth Vinji. Francis Atali Vaughn. Lizzie Waller. Marika Van Scapen. Jacob Andrew Watson. Lola Elise Velouche. Jabe Christian Wesson. Philip John Wagoner. Nat Wetzel. Yeah. James Robert Webster. Louise May Whitman. Clara West. Sarah Wilkson. Isabella Wary. William Kale Wilson. Taylor Elizabeth Wetzel. Adeline Sato Woods. Matthew Jason Wilbur. Joseph Robert Young. Jacob Windover. Lillian Ginger Ziskowski. Spencer J. Walcott. Tyler Kutara Yamamoto. Antria Rosa Zelena Zelaya. some quick reminders for the recessional exit. We will exit towards the northwest end zone and through the teacher tunnel, then exit towards the international fountain. All of those attending senior spree, buses will leave no later than 1030. Meet by Mercer outside the Seattle Center in the McCall Hall. Before we flip our tassels today, we would like you all to put on your best smile, and we are going to take a full class selfie. Ready? All right. Join us and flip your tassel from the right to the left. later we have made it and now congratulations Ballard High School class of 2023 
Thank you, sir. We all ask that all staff make their way towards the exits. Seniors, please hold for instructions by the ASB ushers. Got a little bit here. <laughs> 